While for 30 years the Radiothon to end child abuse has filled the airwaves with a message of hope, a Josh Peterson shows us how this year's broadcast has returned to its roots. 30 years can be viewed as a major milestone in broadcasting. And for 30 years, the stations of Paul Bunyan Broadcasting has played host to the annual Radiothon to End Child Abuse. Over the last three decades, the Radiothon has expanded its footprint while becoming a community tradition. More and more people from more and more counties and communities have made events that are annually tied into the Radiothon, and it's become basically a community holiday type event. Over the years, the Radiothon has evolved and changed locations, finding itself in its 30th year returning to its roots at 5th and Beltrami in downtown Bemidji. This is the first time it's been housed in studio uh, since 1991. So usually we're in a location somewhere around town, but this year we thought we'd uh, s centralize it. By returning to its home location, the broadcast will not only travel the airwaves, but staff will also go out on location. At Paul Bunyan Park, kids from the new Gene Dillon Elementary School continued an old tradition. And the song that we, that we sang, Don't Laugh at Me, is a song that we've sung throughout every year. And we just love the message and the whole idea behind it, the thing behind it about accepting others, about not judging others. The song has been a staple for the Radiothon, providing kids with an important education. I think it's so important for the kids to know what's going on in the community and why we're doing this. And um, just how, how, how these resources benefit being and living in Bemidji or the surrounding communities. As the clock winds down, every penny matters when making a difference in the life of a child. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. And to make a donation to the Radiothon, you can call the number on your screen. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.